Let's make a form builder with Next.js and Convex. All the code and tutorials are linked in the description. Create a Next.js app and run the Convex command line tool. Use Clerk for authentication. This Convex provider makes Convex available to all React components. I'll use these built-in components to show different things based on whether the user is signed in or not. Let's run the app. persist forms in the database. All I need to do is implement a function in a file in the convex directory. Because this function writes data to the database, I'm going to use the built-in convex mutation function. This part inserts into a table named forms. In my React component, I'll wrap the function in a use mutation hook. This API here was generated by Convex. It provides type safety and autocomplete. Let's wire this to a button click. In the Convex dashboard, I see the data being persisted. This is all the code I needed to persist data to the cloud. No additional setup or configuration. Let's write another function to get the data back from the table. This one is a query, not a mutation. We'll just read all the documents in the forms table, where the created by field equals the currently signed in user. This hook is a convex database query that updates in real time whenever the underlying data changes. It takes the function I wrote and any arguments and gives back the results. Let's render the forms on the page. With convex, new data is showing up in the table as it's being written to the database and I had to write no code to achieve that. Yeah! Let's link to a new page where we can add fields to our form. Another mutation function to write into the form fields table. This mutation accepts arguments. We'll start by reading the form itself. Make sure it exists and was created by the currently signed in user. Lastly, we'll insert into a new table, form fields. Yeah! Let's make a query to read the form fields back. This time, we'll pass the form ID as an argument to the query. Finally, let's make another page where users can submit responses. We'll render the fields dynamically based on what is in the form fields table and use a new mutation that I wrote to insert the form response into the database. Let's try it out. <laughs>